So we spent a lot of time talking about temples and about what they meant. You have the outer wall that's in, in the wavy mud brick representing that chaos, that primordial waters. You have the, the sacred on the inside and then the profane on the outside that is separated into that chaos. And then you, we talked about the hills that it's, the temples are built on and as you go up in the Holy of Holies. We talked about all of these things and now that you know them, let me read for you Psalm 24 and just listen for the things that we've just been talking about, okay? Psalm 24 says this, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord and stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not bowed down to idols, he will receive. To this one who has clean hands, he will receive a blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. To such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. And now the section that you all know, you've sung the song before, you've heard about this. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted, you ancient doors, so the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. Remember the smiting scene? He is the King of glory. The Lord, mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. So lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted, you ancient doors, so the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of glory. David wrote this about a, about a temple, right? What temple was there for David? Solomon built the temple in Jerusalem. So I believe David was here in Egypt. He may not have been at this particular temple, even though this existed when David was, was here. He may not have been at this one. He may have been at Karnak, which has gates that are even another half, 50% higher than these. And he's saying our God cannot be contained by this. Okay, the other thing that we get wrong is the direction of where God is going. Okay, because we have the feeling that, that we have to lift up the gates so God can come in. It's the opposite. If you remember verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So in ancient Egypt, the little God in the Holy of Holies would get bigger and bigger and bigger as these gates would get bigger and bigger and bigger until finally he is this big as he leaves, exits the temple. That's the image they're trying to portray. And David is saying, you know what? Our God is so big, he cannot, he cannot. He blows right past that. I mean, you can't, this cannot contain our God going into the world. Okay, it's not God coming into the temple, getting smaller. It's our God coming out, Emmanuel, God with us, into the world. And that's the image of the tearing of the veil in the New Testament. Okay, when Jesus died, there was like four or five things that happened. It was dark and suddenly it became light, right? The dead people came to life. The earth quaked, which always happens when God arrives. And then finally, the veil of the temple. What direction was the veil of the temple torn? From top to bottom. All three gospels say that. It was born from top to... When you're there, you tear it from the bottom to the top. But this is God tearing from top to the bottom. That's an image of God coming out of the Holy of Holies and into the world. What happens when God comes into the world? Earthquakes, dead come to life, right? The lights turn on, and finally, uh, the temple, the veil is tore, and finally comes the confession of the, of the centurion. Surely, this was, this is the Son of God. The death of Jesus did not allow us to go into the Holy of Holies. Even though Hebrews talks about that, that's part of it. But the, the death of Jesus allowed God's presence to come into the world, to be with us. Typically in the, in the guise of the Holy Spirit, right? That you are the new temple, he's inside of you. So the image is not of us being able to go into God, the images of God came out and is in the world now because Jesus cleansed us from the sins 
that now God is in the world and God's presence is in the world. So Psalm 24, David was here. I hope I can convince you into that. And second, the direction. You have to understand the direction of God coming into the world. Amen? Amen. Amen. Amen.